Hello and welcome to the Brum Project. This first video would be me explaining what's going to be happening basically during the build of Brum. Um, we haven't seen Brum in daylight since 2007. I think it's time we actually make one. So the first part of Brum that I'm going to be attempting to build will be this grill. Um, I have all the measurements, focus camera, I have all the measurements sent to me by Nicholas Williams, so I really do appreciate that, thank you very much. Um, so my attempt is to build Brum first out of EVA foam. Now a lot of these people make crossplay costumes and helmets and swords out of EVA foam. So I thought that would be a really good starting point for me to do because I can't get hold of the original Brum. They won't let me mess around with them anyway because I'll have to fiberglass, basically use them as a mould and that's not going to happen. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be making the grill first out of EVA foam and that will give me the size measurements for his bonnet because the drawings, I do have other drawings of him, but the drawings they haven't given me the bonnet measurements let's see yes here they have given me the overall height of the bonnet but they haven't given me the length of the bonnet so that's going to be a bit awkward to do also I'm still sourcing parts for the Brum project because 90% of it will be hand built uh, for instance the uh, dash is going to be all hand built well pretty much all of it really the only thing that ain't going to be hand built is his wheel rims. Now this is a bit of a hit and miss because they're on 8 inch wheel rims which is good but the problem is you cannot get the original spec of wheel rim that he used. You can get close as but that's about it. So I'm still on two minds to get the wheel rims and make his wheel trims from his last series, yeah, the last series of Brum. So I think I might do that. So the plan is obviously to do the um, grill first and then make the bonnet. And also with the um, suspension, the suspension of Brum, this is the very last series of Brum. He now uses wheelchair motors, where the very first Brum, the, probably the Brum you probably see at the Cotswolds Motor Museum, he is running a Sinclair C5 motor. Well, he probably changed it out because he didn't have enough grunt in it, and it probably get failing all the time, so that's why he put two wheelchair motors. Now, my idea, because I cannot go to speak to anyone, because unfortunately, Two of the original builders have passed away now, which is very sad, so I can't talk to them. Um, I've tried contacting other people, but they just have no information. So here is my thought of plan for him, the wheelchair motors, and his air suspension. Now, if you come over here to my Vespa. Now, this is my idea that I'm going to be putting in. So here's the Vespa engine. Imagine this as the electric motor, but on the Vespa you have got two pivot points. You have got one here, that's a pivot point, which makes this engine go up and down. That's obviously connected to the wheel, it goes up and down. And obviously he is connected to the um, suspension. Well, instead of that, I'm going to be connecting them 
TRVC and Fumatics, you know, I think I can say it. Air arms. So that's going to be connected to some air arms, which then obviously will cause this, the electric motor to go up and down, up and down. And that's what's going to give him the side, move, the side movement. Now, originally, Brum probably would have been built by a custom, or probably Rex and Brett probably made a special electronic speed controller for him. But that these days is sort of redundant now because obviously technology has improved and better speed controllers have come about. Now, where is my speed controller? Ah, yeah. Sorry about this. So, Brum's wheelchair motors will be driven onto some Roboclaw ESCs. Just like to say thank you to Basic Micro for sponsoring me with some lovely ESCs. So they'll be put in instead of a huge speed control that Brum would have used originally. So I think that's pretty much it so I can say for now. The next video will be me building the grill of Brum. I hope you like this video. Uh, please, if you want to help with the build and help speed up the process, you can join a Patreon page that we have, which will help obviously speed up the build. So yeah, thank you very much. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video, which will probably be after Christmas, and that is when I'm going to have a lot of EVA foam arrive. But it, yeah, EVA foam is obviously used for like play, place mats and um, workshop mats. It's all foam, it's like squishy foam. So that will be in the next video of me trying to build the grill for Brum. Thank you for watching.